Atiku Abubaka says Nigeria can never become industrialized by selling oil. He's right, guys. He's right. Well, Atiku Abubaka, of course, you know, um, has been the vice president of Nigeria before, and um, he contended for presidential um, post with uh, Buhari, but Buhari won. So um, he came out recently and he talked about the diversification of the economy. This diversification of the economy is something that Aliko Dangote has been saying in his interview. If you watch Aliko Dangote's interview, you see that he, where he will say that he thinks what has kept him afloat all this while is diversification. Even the people are saying monopoly, 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 but this guy is really diversified. Like, if you think about it, his cement is there, his salt is there, his sugar is there, he has been to textile, banking, and all that. So, when one of these products is not doing well, the other one is covering up for him. So, um, I remember there, there is an interview I watched when Dangote said that he, the, the, the Dangote cement has been in court for about four years in uh, one African country that he called like that. That he said, I don't know, but. If you think about it, you see that just logical thinking that diversifying your economy is nice because right now, because of these coronavirus issues, oil is no longer selling. People that are using, that are supposed to use the petrol are at home. People that are supposed to use the petrol for business, for transportation, for movement, all that is at home. So oil actually plunged. Last time I checked the stock of oil, it was like minus 350%. So you can imagine that. So um, if you think about what Atiku said, you see that he has a good point. He made this known and he said, what he said was that Nigeria should diversify and go back to agriculture, spread it out, go back to agriculture and to other things, uh, tourism, invest in sports, in agriculture. But he was mainly hinting agriculture because in the 1950s and in the 1960s, according to research, you see that Nigeria sustained themselves more on agriculture before the whole oil saga. But who knows, we are still going to be dependent on oil even when it sells less than $10 per barrel. We are still going to be there. But all this while, I pray uh, this doesn't hit us hard. I pray um, our government um, comes together um, to reason out how to figure this out. And again, um, of course, you know that Dangote has been doing so well for Nigeria and for himself generally. He has been building a 650,000 barrel per day uh, refinery in Ibejuleki. Um, such a wonderful place and by the time it completes it is going to be the biggest oil refinery in the whole wide world guys can you imagine can you, can you, can you beat that so um, that's a big thumbs up for him and I believe um, he's going places he has never stopped his, he has not stopped investing and if you check it you know that it is it is recently that he decided to dive into oil I watched an interview when they asked him why have you know why why don't you want to go into oil all this while and he was like you know Whereas we are in Nigeria, a lot of people think once you're in oil business, you are doing a lot of unethical deals, and then uh, they say you're eating oil money. So that's why he stayed. He said he stayed away from oil all this while. So he made a name for himself, cast that, carved that a niche for himself to be sure that he was wealthy and successful enough to and as not to attract any talks or any bad name of him shooting himself to the limelight with oil. Of course, he started with trading textiles, selling rice, and then next. Gently, he started diversifying into other parts. So, guys, tell me what you think in the comment section below. I personally think Nigeria will do well if we have more diversified, but um, sometimes, even that what they said, he, he, he goes into businesses that he understands. So, you don't just keep establishing different kinds of businesses without just watching your back. So, all the same, guys, stay tuned to this channel. Thanks for watching to this place. Give all your thoughts up in this video. Like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned to this channel. My name is Chose. See you in the next one. Peace out.